Hi, my name is Samuel Getacho. I am 18 years old and I'm a poet from right here in Oakland, California. Um, I want to say thank you to East Bay Getting to Zero for having me. Um, I'm honored to be able to perform for you and I want to commend the incredible work that you guys do. It's so essential uh, now more than ever, as you know. Um, and I'm going to read a poem for you. I tried to write a poem for George and Brianna and Tony and Elijah and none of them made it past a scribble past a draft past the passing thought that I could leave the name and the details blank and this would be the same poem that I've been writing since I was 14 years old and I'm so tired of explaining why I'm tired of viral videos and an America that says that if she does not get to watch a dying man's last breath that if she does not get an open casket funeral, a published photograph of the corpse, she cannot say for certain if he lived or died so tired of an America that laughs off our deaths in private and then mourns us in public that only pays attention so long as there is a spectacle to be observed that is only willing to grieve the deaths it forgot to erase so tired of an America that says that if she does not get to watch the bullets enter his heart in real time, then she cannot be certain that he wasn't too loud or too tall or too resistant or cannot be certain that he did not deserve to die after all. See, legend has it that if you resist your oppression, I mean, resist arrest, America will kill you in cold blood and then turn around and offer her condolences to the family, offer black squares and kneeling cops, offer apologies from the institutions built on your bones, send your family to a funeral, and then ask why they weren't present for the political process, continue to build rooms and name them after you with no intention of allowing your people inside an America that claims sympathy between backroom conversations and inside jokes between the Reagan press secretary joking about AIDS and the cops posing in a group chat with the chokehold that killed Elijah of America that sets buildings ablaze and then exempts itself from the fire between the special medical treatments at the White House and the 46,000 black people dead from COVID. I am so tired of explaining why I'm tired of yard signs and street murals of MLK quotes out of the white moderates he fought against and MLK boulevards in every state of a union that assassinated him and in every major city of a country that will kill you only to give a teary-eyed eulogy at your burial with its knee still on your children's necks. Thank you.